Hello guys, it's Dale here with another daily analysis. Today I'd like to talk about Bitcoin, but before that I'd like to address a level that I talked about yesterday in yesterday's video. And that level was on the New Zealand dollar, US dollar, so that's what you see before you. New Zealand dollar, US dollar, 30 minute chart. We talked about this uh, downtrend and about two significant volume zones here. This one and this one. I said that the first one was a bit riskier, but in the end, as you can see, the price reacted to it very nicely, and this was the reaction to it. There was a nice confluence in the end, uh, where there was the first deviation of a VWAP, this is the gray line, and also the volumes. So those two met, created this confluence of the first deviation of the VWAP and volumes, and the price reacted nicely to it. Now, the second level, which I talked about, the second resistance was this one at 0.6080. As you can see, there was a reaction to it, but unfortunately, the price turned just a touch before the level. So I missed the trade, I placed a limit order there and it didn't get filled. As you can see, the price turned a little bit sooner. So the test came, this is a clear test of this volume cluster and for that reason I discarded it. that level. I won't be trading it anymore as it has clearly been tested with this move. All right, the price turned 1.4 pips before the level. Tough luck. Now let me switch over to the Bitcoin chart. So uh, this is it, Bitcoin 30 minute time frame. If you want to get data for that, uh, you need to go to the control center in here, uh, connections and connect to Coinbase, right? This is a default connection that's in every Ninja Trader 8 software. So you click that, you connect to Coinbase and you'll have data for Bitcoin. And what I want to talk about in here is a strong day trading resistance, which is right there at 19,700. This is where the resistance begins and it is based on my volume accumulation setup. Bitcoin was in very long rotation and finally this price channel broke and Bitcoin went into a sell-off which was telling us that strong sellers were building up their shorts in this rotation and then they pushed the price downwards. If you use the volume profile over this area you can see the massive volumes accumulated here, right, before the sell-off. And this is a place which is clearly important for the sellers, because those sellers were building up their shorts there, then they pushed the price downwards, and it is very likely that those sellers will want to defend this heavy volume zone, where they placed a lot of their shorts, right? And the resistance which I draw here is the place where that heavy volume zone begins, and it is also the place from which the strong sell off started, right here. This is where the price broke out of this price range and went into the sell off. So, when there is a pullback to this resistance, it is likely that those strong sellers will want to defend this heavy volume zone and push the price downwards from there again, right? Now for this kind of trade, you need to use a bit wider stop loss. I recommend placing the stop loss in here, which is uh, just a bit above the 20,000 mark. All right, this would be the stop loss for this trade. The reason being is that it is above this swing point, the last swing point before the sell off started. And also it is behind this heavy volume area. Right, The price shouldn't go past this heavy volume zone. If it does, then the resistance failed and there's not really any reason to hold on to that chart anymore. All right, so that's about uh, the Bitcoin. By the way, there's also one more thing that I like here and that I haven't mentioned yet. It is the first deviation of a VWAP. This one, this gray line. Getting close to that resistance if it's somewhere in this resistance area, when the price makes the pullback, then it will be nice confluence and it will strengthen the resistance. All right. 
but obviously I can't guarantee that the VWAP, I mean the first deviation of a VWAP will be around as it is always moving, but if it is around, then it will strengthen the level, which would be nice, right? So yeah, that's about that. That's my take on Bitcoin. If you guys are interested in learning more about trading with volume profile and if you would like to trade alongside me every day, then what I recommend is visiting my website. This is it, trader-dale.com. And what you want to do is click this yellow button which says trading course and tools. So let me click that, scroll down a bit. And what I recommend is getting the Elite Pack. The Elite Pack is a recommended training pack in which I'll teach you how to trade with volume profile. There is a video which you can watch and in the video you can learn everything that's included in the Elite Pack. Just in short, it includes video course, which is a 15 hour long video course on volume profile trading. Then there's my personal trading levels. Those are day trading levels as well as swing trading levels. And you'll be getting those every day, twice every day actually. Then there's a volume profile pack, which is pack of my custom made volume profile indicators and also a couple of bonuses. Now, at top of that, there's also free tech support for Elite and Oriflow Pack members. And what that means is that our tech support will connect to your computer, set up NinjaTrader 8 platform for you with all the indicators, all workspaces that will connect you to data feed, and they'll do it completely for free, as does the part of the service that we provide to the Elite Pack members. All right, so that's about it. Thanks for watching the video and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video or in our members area and until then happy trading.